Hi today we are going to discuss about drying rate curve if you watch this video till the end without skipping i am damn sure you can easily understand the concept of drying start the topic with drying experiment here you can see a tray inside this tray the materials to be dried is placed wet mass of sample is placed inside this tray actually the bottom and the side of the trays are insulated hot air is introduced into this material and this air is having constant temperature humidity air velocity and pressure okay so the air is blown over the material under constant drying condition the water from the surface of the solid is evaporated first after that water from the inner side of the material diffuses out and this water is also carried away rapidly by the moving air stream in this case we have to weigh the sample periodically to determine the difference in weight of two successive periods okay the difference in weight of two successive period that gives the loss of moisture content so from this experiment we get the value or we get the data for free moisture content the data for free moisture content is plotted on x axis and drying rate is plotted on y axis we get a curve this curve is known as drying rate curve so this is our drying rate curve moisture content plotted on x axis and drying rate is plotted on y axis we get a curve which is known as drying rate curve here the line ab that represent initial adjustment rate period bc stands for constant rate period cd represent first falling rate period and de stands for second falling rate period the point b which is known as wet bulb temperature of drying air the point c is known as critical moisture content and the point d stands for second critical point and the point e is known as equilibrium moisture content now let's see what is initial adjustment rate period the time corresponding to ab is known as initial adjustment rate period here you can see our tray inside this tray the materials to be dried is placed that means our wet mass of solid is placed inside this tray hot air is blown over the material this hot air is having constant temperature humidity air velocity and pressure so hot air is blown over the material under constant drying condition during that period the solid the wet solid that absorb heat from the hot air so the temperature of the solid increases at the same time the moisture present in the solid starts to evaporate so the temperature of the drying solid then decreases after some time the temperature of the system stabilizes because it attain equilibrium because the system attain equilibrium that time rate of heating equal to rate of working so this temperature is known as wet bulb temperature of drying air the time corresponding to bc is known as constant rate period in this case the temperature of the system remains constant so the rate of drying is also constant here you can see a solid okay water is present on the surface of the solid so first of all water from the surface of the solid is evaporated after that water from the inner side of the solid is diffuses out and then 
it form a continuous layer of film on the surface of the solid then it starts to evaporate so this is what happen in the case of constant dry drying period first of all water from the surface of the solid is evaporated then water present on the inner side of the solid is diffuse out and it form a continuous layer of film on the surface of the solid okay in this case rate of diffusion become equals to rate of evaporation the moisture content which is present at the end of the constant rate is known as critical moisture content so the point c is referred to as critical moisture content so here comes the first falling rate period the time corresponding to cd is known as first falling rate period and saturated surface drying is occur in this case water from the surface of the solid is evaporated then water from the inner side diffuse out but inside the solid there will be little amount of water so there will not be enough water to maintain a continuous film on the surface and saturated layer of water is formed on the surface of the solid after drying dry spots will be formed on the surface of the solid so during this period rate of drying begins to fall off the point d is known as second critical point at the end of the first falling rate period is known as second critical point the unsaturated layer of film is completely evaporated so this is regarding first falling rate period the time corresponding to de is known as second falling rate period here the rate of drying falling rapidly than the first falling rate period and the rate of drying that is dependent on the rate of diffusion of water vapor if water is diffuses out then that will be evaporated then only drying will be occur at the end of the second falling rate period there will be a point which is known as e that is equilibrium moisture content beyond e drying rate is equal to zero that is the temperature and moisture content will be remain constant beyond e the temperature and moisture content will be remain constant these are the important points regarding drying rate curve